these ceremonies mean to you, Pete, and I know how much they mean to our service members. So thank you for all that you're doing and for making sure that this program is as efficient, as effective, and uh, wonderful and meaningful as it is. So thank you, Pete. Thank you. Chairman, if you would come down on the floor and join us. And the members of the Marine Corps League Patriot Detachment, other veterans in the audience that would like to come and be part of this, and the Veterans Advisory Commission members that we have here this evening, would you please join us? Tonight we're going to recognize and honor another of our Northampton Patriots. So with the parents, and brother of Army Specialist Jeffrey Bodle, Janice, Chris, and Mark. Please come up here and join us. I was telling uh, Pat Kamalowski here earlier, before the meeting started, that uh, George was the only supervisor up here that has been through every one of these presentations since 2003. And I'm sure he's looking for us this evening for this one. As many of you know, this program began 13 years ago on April 23rd, 2003, when the Board of Supervisors introduced our Northampton Patriots flag program to honor our Northampton residents who, at the time, were serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Back then, we knew of 24 such individuals, and as of today, due to the expansion of the program to include other hostile areas, we know of 82. Behind the dais there is a flag display holding both military and American flags, 82 of them. At one time, all were military flags, each representing the branch of service and identifying the resident with the yellow streamer with his or her name affixed to it. As each one returns home, and so far 80 have, we return his or her military flag and replace it with an American flag. After tonight, there will be 83 total flags in that display with two of them being armed services flags awaiting their return. Both will be Army flags. Back in early May, we were made aware that Jeffrey would be going into training in Fort Bliss, Texas for eventual deployment to a hostile area. The family had a going away party for Jeffrey on May 7th, just before he was uh, ready to uh, leave for training. And I, along with supervisors Eileen Silver, and Kimberly Rose had the pleasure of meeting Jeffrey and his wonderful family and friends at his home. Jeffrey finished his training and deployed on June 22nd. At his house party, I explained the township's flag program and how we honor our military families serving in harm's way and how we would be bestowing that honor for Jeffrey once he deploys, which brings us to this evening. Janice, Chris, and Mark would like to place a flag for Jeffrey in the display where it will lie in wait until he can, we can return it to him when he comes back stateside to claim it. So at this time, Chairman Weinstein would like to escort you guys to the display for placement of Jeffrey's flag.
Chris, would you like to say a few words about Jeff? Sure. Maybe just before you do Okay. <laughs> If Jeff were here right now, he'd say, way to go, Mom, you didn't cry. Um, but he's not here. Um, I, I just want to thank all of the veterans for, for coming out for your service as well to this country. <laughs> One thing that stands out for me is that, you know, when you guys serve, you got letters if they ever came across these, if you ever got them. And, you know, and, and you look for that thing. And today's technology, we have Skype, and uh, we can send messages, and we can feel, you know, close to our son. He can send us some pictures. Mostly, he sends them to his brother, of course. But uh, but we can see him and feel him close to us. Um, he's right now in the uh, United Arab Emirates. He went to Kuwait first in Northwest Kuwait um, for a short period. He went to United Arab Emirates, and he will soon be on a different mission than what we expected, but uh, he'll be on a mission in Jordan, and I'm not sure how long that will be, but probably for the next 10 months. But thank you all for, for coming out, for, for helping us honor um, his service, as well as the 81 other people who are, have service in, in this community. Not too much to say after that. We're supposed to be at Jeff's college graduation right now, but uh, his orders got pulled, and now he's not here. Uh, as out abroad, as Janice just said. Again, I want to thank the township, and especially, uh, Peter, the program that you put together. I know you started this program. I personally have watched these meetings on television for years, and uh, it was a great program. And thank you again so much to all the veterans for coming out in the support, and thank you again for what you've done uh, keeping our country free. Uh, thank you. Thanks everyone for the support and I uh, can't see anything so change that flag out for uh, the American flag. I have one question. You spoke to him earlier today or yesterday? Uh, we messenger today. Do they do Pokemon Go over there? <laughs> <laughs> the desert roads do don't have, have the sign saying no Pokemon on this keep driving. <laughs> Mr. Chair, would you like to say a few words? Sure. Sure. Thank you, Pete. And, and we all here owe a debt of gratitude to your son and your brother. Uh, it's because of the great work that he does in protecting our country that we can have ceremonies like this, that we can have local municipal meetings. It's that freedom that is being preserved by our, our service members. And I would say if we think back and look back to the dawn of time, there has been no better purveyor of peace and freedom in this world than the American military. All corners of the earth, they have brought freedom. And I know that Jeffrey will be continuing on that mission of our military. And so as his brother said, we will look forward to him coming back and having another one of those ceremonies and replacing the flag with the American one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. You know, as has been documented so often nowadays throughout the world with acts of terrorism, those that serve our country in the military are at risk, whether they're on U.S. soil or foreign soil. Their lives are put on the line each and every day. Northampton and our country are proud of what our soldiers are doing for the freedoms we enjoy here at home. We always mention at these ceremonies that two of our patriots did not make it back home safe and sound. And of course, they were Army PFC Bobby Dembowski Jr. and Army Master Sergeant Ken Elwell. Their American flags are in the display front and center with the black streamers containing their names. We will never forget Bobby and Ken and the service they gave while paying the ultimate price. Bobby Dembowski Jr., nine years ago on May 24, 2007, and Kenny Elwell, five years ago on July 17, 2011. 
And I know at least one of their family members are here this evening. Sue Elmo Brokhart back here. Susan. It's been six years this month. So Janice, Chris, and Jeffrey Vogel, and uh, or Janice, Chris, and more, Jeffrey Vogel, and Chelsea Allen are the only two service people whose flags are in that display. And I understand from uh, Chelsea's parents that she will be back home sometime in uh, late August. And so, Mr. Chairman, at the September meeting, we'll probably have a welcome home for her. Uh, we thank you for your son's service and hope to see him in 2017 for a welcome home and replacing his flag with the American flag. God bless him and all our troops. Keep them safe. And George, if you're looking down with us, give them a little rough for us and keep them safe. <coughs> thank you, everyone. <laughs>